Prolactin, a hormone produced by the pituitary gland, plays a vital role in various physiological processes, including reproduction, lactation, and immune regulation. However, when prolactin levels become excessively high, hyperprolactinemia, it can lead to significant health issues. In this video, I want to explore with you the effects of prolactin and the link between frequent masturbation and elevated prolactin levels, the associated health consequences such as bone loss and evidence-based strategies to reverse these effects and promote bone remodeling over time. Prolactin's primary function is to stimulate milk production in breastfeeding women, but it is also present in both men and women for other functions. It helps regulate the immune system, influences reproductive health by interacting with sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone, and is associated with feelings of relaxation and satisfaction, particularly after sexual activity. Prolactin secretion is regulated by the hypothalamus, primarily through dopamine, which inhibits its release. When dopamine activity decreases, prolactin levels rise. Sexual activity, including masturbation, temporarily increases prolactin levels. This is a normal physiological response as prolactin promotes a sense of satisfaction and reduces sexual arousal after climax. However, excessive or frequent masturbation may lead to chronically elevated prolactin levels in some individuals. Frequent ejaculation might deplete dopamine levels, reducing its inhibitory effect on prolactin release. Chronic overstimulation of the hypothalamic pituitary axis can disrupt normal hormonal regulation, and persistent stress combined with frequent sexual activity may amplify prolactin production. While occasional masturbation is unlikely to cause significant issues, excessive habits might contribute to hormonal imbalances over time, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content. By doing so, you're helping me reach more people who suffer from pornography addiction and other substance abuse. It's amazing how just by liking this video, your energy can travel through the world in unexpected ways and play a big role in helping others. And by helping others, you also help positively change the whole world. Moving on. Hyperprolactinemia can lead to a variety of health issues. For reproductive health, men may experience low testosterone levels, erectile dysfunction, reduced libido, and infertility. While women might face irregular menstrual cycles, infertility, and decreased estrogen levels. Elevated prolactin suppresses sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone, which are essential for maintaining bone density. Low levels of these hormones accelerate bone resorption and reduce bone formation, increasing the risk of osteopenia and osteoporosis. Other consequences include mental health issues like fatigue, depression, and difficulty concentrating, as well as metabolic effects such as weight gain and insulin resistance. Bone health relies on a balance between bone formation by osteoblasts and bone resorption by osteoclasts. Sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone play a crucial role in maintaining this balance. Estrogen protects bones by inhibiting osteoclast activity, reducing bone resorption, while testosterone stimulates bone formation and supports muscle mass, which indirectly benefits bone health. When prolactin suppresses these hormones, bone resorption increases, bone formation decreases, and overall bone density is lost, leading to weaker, more brittle bones. Reversing the negative health effects of hyperprolactinemia involves addressing the root causes, normalizing prolactin levels, and supporting overall hormonal balance. Medical treatment often includes dopamine agonists like bromocryptine and cabagoline, which effectively lower prolactin levels by enhancing dopamine activity. If a prolactinoma a pituitary tumor is the cause. Treatment may involve medication, surgery, or radiation. It is also important to address medication side effects, as certain drugs can elevate prolactin levels. Lifestyle changes are equally important. 
reducing stress through practices like meditation, deep breathing, and yoga can help lower prolactin levels. Moderating sexual activity and avoiding excessive masturbation helps maintain hormonal balance. Improving sleep quality is also crucial, as sleep plays a key role in hormone regulation. Dietary adjustments can further support recovery. Consuming dopamine-supporting foods, rich in tyrosine, such as eggs, fish, and bananas, helps maintain dopamine levels. Ensuring adequate intake of calcium and vitamin D, which is essential for bone health. Once prolactin levels are normalized, bone remodeling and recovery can begin. Optimizing nutrition is a critical first step. Calcium-rich foods, such as dairy products, leafy greens, and fortified alternatives should be included in the diet. Vitamin D, obtained through sunlight or supplements, enhances calcium absorption. Protein, essential for bone and muscle repair, can be found in meat, fish, legumes, and nuts. Engaging in weight-bearing exercise stimulates bone formation by applying stress to bones. Activities like walking, jogging, dancing, or resistance training are effective. Incorporating strength training helps build muscle mass, which supports bone strength. Hormonal support is also key. Restoring normal levels of estrogen or testosterone, whether through medical or natural methods, is essential for reversing bone loss. Bone health supplements, such as magnesium and vitamin K2, support bone density by aiding calcium metabolism. Also, collagen supplements can improve the bone matrix and overall bone strength. To prevent hyperprolactinemia and its associated issues, adopt a balanced lifestyle. Practice moderation in sexual activity and avoid overindulgence. I suggest you go for at least 90 days of semen retention to balance your hormones and dopamine levels. Manage stress effectively to avoid hormonal imbalances. Maintain a nutrient-rich diet and engage in regular exercise. Regular health checkups are important to monitor hormone levels and bone health. While prolactin serves essential roles in the body, elevated levels can have significant health consequences, including hormonal imbalances and bone loss. Frequent masturbation may contribute to hyperprolactinemia in some individuals, emphasizing the importance of moderation and a healthy lifestyle. The good news is that with proper medical care, lifestyle adjustments, and targeted strategies, the effects of elevated prolactin can be reversed and bones can be remodeled over time. By prioritizing holistic health and maintaining balance, individuals can regain strength, vitality, and well-being. If you made it until here, leave a crown emoji in the comments I'm doing a little experiment to see how many of you are willing to finish what they start. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay strong.